Today we'll be preparing some onion cells. Uh, this part of the onion grows below the soil. This part of the onion was heading up to the stem leaf. Um, and little roots would come out of here. Onions are chosen for microscope viewing because they are a eukaryotic cell that is comparatively large. So we get a nice view and of course a plant cell. And from this part of the plant we're not going to run into too many issues um, with chloroplasts that are going to make it difficult to see some other structures. So the onion comes apart in layers and each one of these layers is a great spot to grab a sample from. And uh, what I'm going to do right now, this, this whole part will pick up and peel up. You can see that starting to come up in my scalpel there. Um, but I'm just going to take a little section here and leave some for a next person to come. I'm just going to cut myself a little rectangular piece. Use the tip of the scalpel to help pull that up. This probably, if you're going to have an issue, this would probably be about it. Um, the onion does tend to come back and stick on itself. But we just come across there. It's okay to um, get your finger in there a little bit to help pull that off. But then I'd suggest getting it back onto the edge of a scalpel if you can. Okay. Now it's time for the slide. Just place that small piece of onion there. You may use a finger to keep this straight. It doesn't need to be exactly in the center of the slide. As long as it's on there um, and what helps if it's not folded in on itself. Um, it's not a fatal flaw if it folds over a little bit. One drop of iodine right on top and a cover slip and you're ready to go. The um, iodine should be attracted to the nucleic acids, should stain a little browner on the nucleus.